Okay, so today we need to talk about anaerobic respiration. Now, anaerobic respiration starts off with a very similar process to aerobic respiration. In fact, they both start off with glycolysis. So just as a reminder, glycolysis is glucose being converted to two glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates. Requiring two ATP molecules to provide phosphates, leaving just two ADP. And then this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted to two pyruvates. This produces four ATP molecules and also two NADH obviously using 2NAD in the process. Now in aerobic respiration, pyruvate then will move into the mitochondria and be used through the rest of aerobic respiration. Unfortunately, with anaerobic respiration, there's no oxygen. No oxygen means that the electron transport chain can't continue. If that can't continue, then NAD isn't being regenerated using the Krebs cycle, so the Krebs cycle can't happen. If the Krebs cycle can't happen, there's no coenzyme A to attach to the pyruvate, which means that the link reaction can't happen. So you get this excess of pyruvate being produced. So the pyruvate gets converted in animals to lactic acid. And this lactic acid requires two NADH molecules to be oxidized to NAD. So this process from pyruvate to lactic acid is a reduction which requires reduced NAD to become oxidized. The purpose of this is that it allows the production of these NAD molecules which can then go back into glycolysis. This might seem like nothing, but this does allow glucose to produce two ATP molecules, net ATP molecules. Now, this obviously is not great when you compare it to the 38 ATP molecules being produced in aerobic respiration, but it is better than nothing. Without the, the conversion of pyruvate to lactic acid, there would be no production of ATP. Obviously, ATP is vitally important for muscular contraction, for example. Plants have a similar process, but it is just slightly different. If I move the initial process over to the side, similar process, the two pyruvate molecules, these get produced to two ethanol and two CO2 molecules. Again, the process requires two NADH to be converted to 2NAD.